Okay, in this video, I'm going to begin exercise 4A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 98, and the question is number 1. So we're now beginning relative velocity, and the question reads, An automobile is travelling along a straight road at 25 metres per second. It is overtaken by a bus which is travelling at 30 metres per second in the same direction. Find the velocity of the bus relative to the automobile, and how long will it take for them to be 1 kilometre apart. So the first thing we need to do is draw our XY, our Cartesian plane. I'm going to define the unit vectors, i hat like so, and j hat like so. In this case, uh, I'm going to say that the car, uh, the the car is driving in the i hat direction. That's going to be v car, and the bus is travelling in the same direction at 30 meters per second so this is going to be V bus like so they're obviously in the same line so V car is equal to uh, is equal to one sec now 25 I hat plus 0 J hat and V bus is equal to 30 I hat plus 0 J hat and we're asked to find the, the velocity of the bus relative to the car. So the car is the one that is the frame of reference. That is the one who imagines he's stationary. So V bus relative to car is written like this. It, they're, all, they're all vectors by the way. And it's equal to VB minus VC. So VBC is equal to 30i hat plus 0j hat minus 25 i hat plus 0 j hat. Now the important thing with relative velocity is that you take note of where the brackets are and that will help you with your signs because obviously if you didn't put in these brackets you'd have minus 25 i hat. Now it does turn out to be like that but it could affect, you could, you could forget for example to have a negative sign here for the j. Now it doesn't matter because in this case it's 0 but you just need to be careful that's all. So vbc is equal to and you can add, of course, what is in the in each unit vector direction. The bar is kind of running out there. So we're going to go 30 minus 25 i hat plus 0 plus 0 j hat. Therefore, VBC is equal to 5 i hat plus 0 j hat. If you want to sketch this vector, I'll do it in blue. It's going to be, of course, smaller than the other vectors, and it's going to be there, V, B, C. And the question we're asked then is to find how long will it take for them to be one kilometer apart. So as I said in, we'll say, the theory lesson, I said that V, B, C means the velocity of B relative to, the, relative to C. And in this case, C imagines that it is stationary. All right, so at C, the car sees is the bus moving away from it, at 5 meters per second and the car is stationary so the question is how long would it be before they're a kilometer apart well it's very simple you use the formula distance speed time in this triangle notation which I'm sure you've seen before such that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time and speed is equal to distance over time and so on so what I'll do is we want distance is equal to we have a thousand that's distance is equal to speed by time, so it's 5t. Alright, so t is equal to 200 seconds, like so. Alright, so uh, both of those are correct there. So, um, oh yeah, by the way, just, just to point something out here as well, the magnitude of the vector vbc. Now, remember, the magnitude is written as follows. The, that's how you, it's the straight brackets, and how you calculate the magnitude is by using... Pythagoras theorem, theorem, excuse me, where this would be um, VBC J hat, this would be VBC I hat, and then the magnitude, of course, would be you know the, the square root of the sum of the squares, all right, which is which we've done a million times already. So in this case, let's just do that. So we we'll get the magnitude of VBC. We'll say to be squared is equal to 25. Excuse me, take that back. Is equal to 5 squared plus 0 squared. And therefore, VBC to be squared is equal to 25 VBC 
is equal to, or the magnitude of it is equal to 5. So as you can see, of course, where you have 0 in any of the unit vector directions, then the magnitude is just whatever is left. But uh, of course, if this was non-zero, then the magnitude would be, would be different. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.